Hi everybody, Lisa here, the Witch of Crescent Auras. I am just doing a short little video today on my travel altar. I pack this altar with the stuff that I'm going to use for Lamas or Lanasad if you celebrate that. Uh, and I just wanted to share it with you, see if maybe it could give you an idea or help inspire you for your travel altar if you are making one. Um, now for mine, I did want something a little bit more permanent. So I did go ahead and wood burn on this little box, the um, Cycles of the Moon. And I also wanted to have the Wheel of the Year. So I had a reference to all the Sabbaths and know when the next one that's coming up, if I needed to refer for that, a reference for that. And so um, the next one coming up here for me is Llamas. And so I did pack this with the things for Llamas. So I will show you what I put in here. So first of all, as I open my travel altar, you will see that I have the images of my deities, uh, Hecate and also the Green Man, Cernino's pen. Goes by many names. And then also I wanted a pentacle. I just wanted a reference to the four elements and spirit. And so I put that there as well. And that way I, I just have that already. And I can, when I go up to, um, in nature, to celebrate the Sabbath, I can have this with me. Uh, for Lamas, what I put inside of my altar was, I put this little corn dolly, uh, just help me, remind me that it's a celebration of the first harvest. And so these corn dollies are super easy and fun to make. There is a lot of videos already on how to make those on YouTube. So if you wanna make one of those, you should look up one of those videos. They're really simple, but they're kind of a fun way to have um, something that symbolizes that you're celebrating the first harvest. So I put that in there. I also usually always have sage and palo santo in my travel altar. I like to burn those when I'm doing my rituals. And for llamas, I am going to be doing some money drawing spells. And so I did put my money drawing candle in here for that. Llamas is a great time to do any kind of spells, but those are the ones I'm doing, so that's why I put those in there. I also did decorate my little broom with some ribbons with the colors of llamas. So you'll see that it has some orange, gold, yellow, brown in the feathers. Just kind of dressed it up for the Sabbath. Um, I also have some of the crystals that I will work with for llamas. And this little sack I picked out because it had some of the colors that reminded me of llamas. And in here I just have some green aventurine and some citrine for my abundance workings. I also have this little crystal that signifies to me a yellow diamond, but of course I can't afford one of those. So this just signifies abundance to me. And that's why I put that in there. Um, have some carnelian and I have some tiger's eye and so that is what I'm working with for llamas my little crystals my crystal pouch uh, for herbs I put some fennel some lavender some frankincense some dandelion some rosemary some thyme leaf and of course some basil leaves because I really like to put um, some spells, uh, you know, do some affirmations and burn the basil leaves. So I usually always have that regarding, uh, regardless of what Sabbath it is. I usually always have those in my travel altar. So I have those. I also have a little altar candle and a holder. Also included this candle because I had more of the autumn llamas looking colors. I have this little wooden token that I made to signify luck, the God for Lanasad. Um, just because he um, inspires creation. He was a master skills man and he just inspires me to be more creative. And so I like to have that in here during llamas to kind of help inspire me, help me be more creative. Um, I also always put a lighter in here so that I can light my candles and burn my spells, my sage, my sage and everything. 
uh, oils. I put rosemary. I put some thyme. I put some sandalwood in here for llamas. And then this is what I use. I don't have a little cauldron that I put in here um, because I really like this one. It just gives me more room to work with. And I like to use a lot of herbs and essential oils and things like that for my spirit workings and so and my spells. And so I just like something a little bit wider to work with. And this fits in here good, so I usually use this. And then this little piece right here, it just has my pentacles. So I just use this to kind of put my little pan on so I can do my workings when I'm outside in nature. I also did pack in here some different seeds so that I can plant those to celebrate llamas. That's one of the great ways to inspire me to work on the garden. And this right here is some whole grain bread. I am actually doing this as an offering to the deities and to just thank them for the first harvest and for everything that has went right in my year and all the accomplishments and the things that I have been able to achieve, all the goals that I've been able to finish. So this is just a whole grain bread that I made for the deities. And then in here, I also have just a paper note so that I can kind of put some of the things that I want to get rid of and burn them away as one of my spells. So I usually keep something like that in there. Um, my wand, so I can cast my circle. I usually do that. So I keep that in my travel altar for all the Sabbaths. And then some incense in case I... I felt like having incense instead of just the sage and the palo santo. And this is just some rose incense. So that is everything. As you can see, you can fit quite a bit in here. And so you can, you know, get ready for the new Sabbaths. And it's a great way to get excited about the upcoming Sabbath. I like to do this rather than decorate my permanent altar because then this way I can take it wherever I'm going and I can actually leave my permanent altar untouched and I kind of like that better but of course you guys might prefer to do your permanent altar and decorate that as well but I just wanted to kind of show you what I did for it and kind of show you one way that or some things that you could include in your travel altars and also just some of the things that I put in here to give you an idea. Anyway, I hope this was helpful and if you like what you see, just uh, let me know in the comments or if there's anything else that you think would be a good idea for me to include in the travel altar or you know what your ideas are. It would be really fun to, to know that, to get some comments from you guys. Anyway, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great blessed day.